What's up, parents? We're going to go ahead and review and test out Norton Family Premiere. Now, this is a um, piece of software that I've been asked to review for a while, but I finally got to it. Apparently, it's award-winning, as you could tell here, parental control software. According to Neil J. Rubin King, Norton Family Premier offers an impressive range of parental control and monitoring features for parents of today's hyper-connected children. And man, that is so true. Children nowadays are hyper-connected. They're connected to everything. So it's very important that you have these parental control systems on your kids' devices. Now, you can try it for free for 30 days. Just go to Norton, Norton.com. And right here where it says free trials, click on that. Scroll down and click on Norton Family Premier Free Trial right here. And when you click there, it'll take you to this page here where we were a while ago. And you click on Try Now. And I already installed it. I think that's why it's taking me here. Okay, so it'll give you a tour here. You can start the tour. I'm just going to go ahead and skip. Um... So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is what it looks like once you install it here. It will have you install it on your PC, phone, wherever it might be. I have it installed on the PC right now just so we can do this tutorial. If you wanted to add a phone, you click right here where it says add device. Click on add new device. For example, let's say your kid had an iPhone because kids now have iPhones even at eight years old they have an iPhone it's crazy <laughs> and then click next what it's gonna make you do is download the app from the App Store then have you scan this code here uh, once you capture the code it will install it on their device and that's how it works guys now let's go ahead and jump right in and see what it does so it's got a web feature here that it controls time management and you, you can actually um, manage what time they can be on the computer or not uh, on their mobile app uh, location you could look at the location now of course because i'm on the pc it says unsupported but if you have the phone that will be supported you could search uh, the search function you can go ahead and modify that so that would, where you can actually uh, limit what they can search would limit what they can watch on video and social media as well Let's go ahead and start with web up here. I'm going to click on the little sprocket sign here. And right now I have it very high, right? Eight years old or or uh, younger. And what's going to happen is you can you can set your supervision level. Right now it's set for to block. You can also set to warn or just to monitor. Let them get away with it, but you're monitoring it. I think that's when they're like 15 or 17 at that point. Uh, you can go ahead and manually block some web categories. For example, uh, let's say I didn't want him to look into gaming. So we'll block that. Click on it to block it. Uh, any enter any website URLs that uh, you want to restrict and what websites you want to allow. Of course, Norton put themselves as allow, <laughs> which is funny. All right. Let's click on moderate and see what that does. So it says right here what it does. Allowed categories for moderate will be online interaction, entertainment, music, gaming, general, government, health, job, search, kids, military, you know, the, uh, the usual there. Um, low over here, that's when they're 15 or 17 years old. They can do all kinds of stuff. They can look at crime, discussion, entertainment. Of course, you can go in there and, and do whatever the heck you want in uh, parental control, but yeah, that's, that's how it's set up. These are preset. You can always go in there and do your own, okay? Let's go to the next one, which is time. I'm going to proceed anyway here. So with time, you can set right here. Um, you can work through each one. So let's say Monday. And you could also check this box, apply these settings to all days, right? And you can go ahead and cl uh, click on here to allow or block if it's gray it's to block if it's green it's to allow um what time of the day let's say uh you don't want them to be on there too late let's say three o'clock is the the absolute um 
maximum time that that they can get on here or whatever you want you guys want to do at night also look check this out we're gonna block the whole night you could click let's go ahead and click on all these to uh oh wait, wait never mind green is to allow and gray is to block my bad i messed up so you want to block all of this you don't want it to be on there at midnight what the heck would they be doing um you can create a pin as well that's pretty easy for the time you can also do here total number of total number of hours allowed you can also do it through here let's take a look at the next feature that's a mobile app so you have to actually add a mobile app to do this function so sorry guys i'm not able to do this one right now at this time but that th this is where you go ahead and monitor for example his location what he can see on his phone all that stuff so location we're going to go to location again of course we got to install the the phone for that like i said search function top search engines like google being an ask and yahoo have filtering options that prevent explicit adult content so enable all that boom that does it automatically so that's good video learn family monitor monitors youtube and hulu videos only on browsers and not in apps so video supervision is on right here so that's good but not an app so i think i don't think it works on the phone and then social this is for social media and um it's supposed to pick them up automatically because it says test child one has no known accounts the feature is not available on android or ios this should be it should be is that it i think that's it guys and you can look at his activities by clicking here on activity click the device you want this is just desktop with windows 10 and it'll tell you all the activity that's going on you can exit on the hitting the x up here uh, we basically went through all of them guys that's it i'm not impressed I am not impressed. I've seen better. I've actually done some video tutorials on better than this. But just for the heck of it, um, let's see how much it would cost. I want to see the actual price of this thing. Um, let's go ahead and look at subscription details here. I've seen some better ones. And I've done some uh, t tutorials and reviews on them. You can find them on my channel. But I'm not that impressed with Norton. But uh, okay, here we are, $49.99, and that's for one year subscription. See, back in the day, you used to just pay one time, and that was it, but now one year subscription. Crazy. But yeah, that's what it costs 50 bucks. Is it worth it? Mm, you know, if it's easy to use, at least it's very easy to use. That's what I like about it. So a newbie with computers would know how to use this. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's worth it if you're going to keep your child away from bad stuff i think it's worth the 50 bucks all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon on the next tutorial video if you have any questions go ahead and comment in the comment section of the video and i'll see you soon in the next video